Welcome to Gospel Greetings, Practical Encouragement for Living Out Your Faith in the Marketplace. This week, we continue The Awe of God by John Bevere. Last week, we did Finishing Well from Psalm 19. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. And isn't it our goal to finish well, to hear from God, well done, good and faithful servant. This week, we continue with Secret friendship from Psalm 25, 14. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. Is it possible to be a Christian, a member of the kingdom, but still have missed the opportunity to be intimate with God? The quick answer is yes. We see in scripture some who believed Jesus' teaching, but never trusted in him. We see others who believed in Jesus, trusting him for salvation. And then finally, we see a select few who were united with him. They actually had spiritual union. See 1 Corinthians 6, 17. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him. The Hebrew word for secret is sod and is defined as counsel. It's all about confidentiality. Like the psalmist is talking about God's secret counsel. We could call it his secrets. The scripture could read, God shares his secrets with those who fear him. Now ask yourself this question, how do you share or who do you share your secrets with, acquaintances or close friends? I'm certainly sure that you'd answer close friends, and God is no different. He shares his secret with intimate close friends, not just acquaintances, people who embrace holy fear. The ESV version reads, the friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him. God is not everyone's friend. Let me restate it more specifically. God is not a friend to all believers. Don't get me wrong. He loves all believers. They are saved and going to heaven, but they aren't really God's friends because they have not pursued an intimate spirit-led fellowship with him. Like Jesus said in John 15 about abiding with him and in him, he says, if, and that's a big if, you abide in me, you will not only bear fruit, but you will be my friends. Verse 14 says, you are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. Jesus is saying that if you fear the Lord, you abide in him and obey what he commands. Then you will be his friend and he can share all of God's deep, deepest secrets with you. This morning, the Lord revealed something to me from Joshua 5. Israel had crossed the Jordan after being in the desert for 40 years, but this generation had not been circumcised. So according to the Lord's command, Joshua circumcised all the men while they were camped in enemy territory, no less. This was a big risk. Then, for the first time in 40 years, they celebrated Passover. After all these things, the angel of the Lord's armies appeared to Joshua to direct him. Joshua was a friend of God. He feared God and obeyed him. So God revealed his deepest plans and secrets to him. Oh, dear God, we want to grow in intimacy and friendship with you. In holy fear, we ask you to help us to hear your voice and obey your commands. In Jesus' name, amen.